Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is Jake with Pac-Man Sports. I was initially going to release a different video for today, and since I haven't had a whole lot of time to really be able to gather everything and be able to get it released for you guys, I think I'm going to switch things up and I'm actually going to give you this video here, which this is on our good old friend, our former tight end, Jermichael Finley. Whenever the Packers have a little bit of turmoil, the mainstream media always tends to run to guys that have taken some shots at their former quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, and the two guys that come to mind right off the top of your head are Greg Jennings and Jermichael Finley. It just so happens that this, that at this point in time, kicking the Packers while they're down, they decided to bring on Jermichael Finley to weigh in on the whole Packers situation and to take some more nut shots, some low blows, if you will, at Aaron Rodgers, who took two nut shots in the game last week. Here it is, this one is coming from uh, KJM of ESPN, where Max Kellerman was unceremoniously booted off of first take by Stephen A. Smith. And now he is joined Keyshawn and uh, Jay Will here on this show. It's just like another spin-off show of First Take and some of these other uh, pathetic mainstream uh, media programs where it's all based off of hot take culture and it's just more things to be able to add to and just create discussions, keep the drama rolling, especially with the, with our Green Bay Packers after a tough loss to a really good football team. This is just going to egg it a little bit more on. And let's just say that this is what Jermichael Finley has decided to do to add on to and fueling the fire that is the current firestorm of Green Bay Packers drama and the mainstream media just pouring and pouring more gas onto the fire and igniting it to a burning inferno. Good year hotline, and that includes Jermichael Finley, who is now with us. Good morning, Jermichael Finley. Thanks for joining us. Anytime, man. Anytime, buddy. Key, you want to jump right in? I was going to let you do your deal. Well, it does seem to me, Jermichael Finley, um, that the Packers are not, you know, have a must-win game against Detroit based on the schedule and how they looked week one. And they should win that game. But how concerning is the week one loss for your former team? Um, it, it, it's very concerning, man. Uh, seeing how they play uh, this Sunday, uh, seeing how the receiving core and Aaron Rodgers um, did not gel together and the defense did not make tackles. Um, or, or make any turnovers. So, uh, the Packers. Um, the Packers only missed two tackles in that game. I know the defense played really poorly. I understand that. It didn't look, look too well uh, first game of the season. Fian, what what went wrong with them though? Um, I I just think uh, I didn't see preparation. Um, I didn't see hunger. I didn't see guys wanting to be out there. Um, and, and once again, um, if you know what brought them on is, I, I saw 12 bring in 18 and then throw him the ball one time. You know what I mean? So, um, like I told you guys last time on the show, you, you can't bring in your brother and, and expect to win championships. Excuse me? Uh, that did happen. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers did the same thing. Brady brought in his brought in, brought in his brother Antonio Brown, and they won a championship together. Um, I think that the fact that Aaron wanted to be able to have the Packers trade for Randall so that way they could do something together, because I think Aaron and Randall both know that things that they things that they can do in the offense together to be able to help this team win a championship. Come on, I believe that Aaron and Randall can get things together again once this offense can get back up uh, off the ground, shake off the rust, shake off the shake off the manure that was completely dumped on us against the New Orleans Saints. Don't tell me that that it's not possible for Aaron and Randall to be a good dynamic duo. Probably not quite to the extent that it was from years past, but I think that 
Aaron and Randall are pretty confident in them being able to get to gel together and be able to make some plays for this Packer offense. That's like bringing a family member to your business. So, and I think that's what Aaron Rodgers did with Cobb. Yeah, when when you when you look at the as you said, lack of preparation, things of that nature, do you attribute that to only seven padded practices, less than two hours, no preseason? So they look like a team that was out of sync based on that type of preparation? Absolutely. Uh, like you said, no padded practices. Not enough padded practices. And like I said, man, you you got to get that, that game situation and practice going uh, because, once again, as you've seen uh, in week one, the, the, the Packers wasn't ready. And um, I've seen a lot of guys that didn't, didn't play in the preseason I can say back a couple, well, several years ago, everybody played the preseason. Everybody got hit, and uh, and I've seen a lot of guys that wasn't ready to uh, to get on the field and play a full speed game. Finn, you, you said something that really struck a nerve with me. You said that you know guys didn't come out and play with that grit, play with that hunger. And every time I hear Aaron Rodgers talk, it seems like he kind of passes the buck as it relates to blame. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, what? When did we actually hear Aaron blame other people for what happened? That is a complete flat out lie. Aaron actually uh, actually actually said that his offensive line played well. He didn't go and he didn't do anything. He didn't throw anybody under the bus. He said it himself in the press conference after the game that he played poorly. To be behind Aaron Rodgers, maybe it's starting to wean just a tad. From his teammates, or no? Uh, I, I I do, man. Once again, I played with twelve for uh, uh, several years, and um, he, he's a once again, I'm not bashing my guy. He, he's a hell of a uh, quarterback, but once. Yeah, you've proceeded to bash him several times, Jermichael, and I think you're going to bash him here. Again, he's a quarterback that doesn't have to take blame for himself. You just bashed him. He never takes blame for himself. That is a full-on lie. And I know you said this before too, Jermichael. This was years back that you, you said this statement at first, and now you just reiterate it again, and you just flat-out lied. Unless you didn't watch the press conference after the game, where he said that he played poorly and he didn't take the finger and he didn't point blame anywhere else. He said, God, if I throw the ball to the receiver, he's got to catch it wherever it's at. Uh, he thought he got, if you go into the, uh, into the film room and he, he made a bad pass, he's not that guy's going to raise his hand and say, oh, that's my bad. He's going to make sure, make sure that the coaches know that uh, it, that's all on you. I got the ball there, you got to catch the ball, so. He's not a leader in that aspect of, of this game. It's your Michael Finley, former Packers tied in Super Bowl champion, joined us this morning on Keyshawn, J. Will, and Zach Kellerman. Max. Max. Zach's Kellerman. No, Max Kellerman. <laughs> no, Max messed up. Max messed up earlier, so we keep giving him a little bit of a ribbing inside. <laughs> but I'm yeah. like Aaron Rodgers. It wasn't me. See, this is what they do. This is what they do. They take everything, blow it out, way out of proportion. I, I think I've got, I've got enough context here. Jermichael has gone on to say that this team came out unprepared, no hunger. That th those might be those might be right. Simple reason why the Packers lost this game is simply because it was just a really bad game. The team was not prepared. Was this due to not playing in the preseason? I don't think so. The Saints game plan was just tremendous and they executed it very well. The Packers didn't have a great game plan. They didn't stick to a game plan that they probably had going. They didn't execute and that's why they lost. Simple as that. And that is really that. It, this is just a good team that played a very good team and they just got beat simple as that i have that's all i have for this video i'm going to end this one here and i'll catch you guys later for another one go pat go